So federal dollars are coming to the West Side Connector bike trail. City leaders celebrated this news this morning and we were there, but bike advocates say this is just the latest in a string of wins for them. WCPO 9 News reporter Andrew Rowan shows us why. In the last like three to five years, I've seen more more happen for active transportation than I ever have. It's pedal to the metal for bike advocates. We're helping our elected leaders know that this is something that people want. And it's paying off. But we've had a lot of success working within the community. Tri-State Trails Monday proposing their latest idea for bike paths in Covington and Newport. Let's keep this momentum going in Cincinnati. Across the river, their 34-mile Crown Trail Loop is over halfway done. We are truly ahead of the curve. And we are the role model that everybody's looking at. Plus, 8 million federal dollars are coming to the West Side Connector bike trail. When it's finished, there will be safe trails from South Fairmont to Lunkin. I think a misconception is that it's bikes versus cars, and that's not the case. And there is a demand for all these projects. We've had a, our best year ever at Red Bike. Red Bike has smashed their yearly ride record. It's up 21% compared to last year, with still two months to go. People always talk about induced demand when you build highways. Well, you induce demand by putting e-bikes on the street. E-bikes are a game changer for us. One third of all rides are taken on income qualified passes. It's a really powerful program to get people to bikes. Advocates say how we got to this point wasn't as easy as, well, riding a bike. They say a combination of dreaming big a few years ago and also actually working with each other put them on the political map. So when it came time to allocate infrastructure dollars, they were able to actually ask for them. In Newport, Andrew Rowan, WCPO 9 News.